In this video, let's talk about the opportunity that is coming down the pipeline, right? There is a huge opportunity for me and you in 2024 for SEO, search engine optimization. Why? Because things have changed. And when there's change, there's opportunity. People like to complain about the change. People always complain about the change, but I like it. You know why? Because I get to find the nooks and crannies where new opportunity is. Now, lucky for us, we can go to Epic Gardening and kind of glean, kind of learn what the heck they are doing. Why do we want to be here? Does this look like a special website to you? Because to me, it does. Why? Well, let's just look. They started the website somewhere in 17, and the helpful content update was somewhere around here. And instead of going down, they went up. And they went up in a big way. They doubled their traffic, 400,000 to 800 and climbing. So yes, we should pay attention to this website right here and figure out what we can do to really hit it hard. Now, the first thing I notice up here is the socials. YouTube, 2.5 million subs on YouTube, right? Um, what is this? Instagram, whatever the heck that is. Facebook and Pinterest, that's TikTok. I know what TikTok is, come on. But the point is they are diversifying. They are treating this company like a real business, right? We've been talking about this. So they started in 2017. This is a multi-million dollar tens. I bet you tens of millions of dollars worth. This business is worth tens of millions of dollars. Why? Because they've diversified into different things and the traffic they are getting is way more, way more than what you're seeing here. So Kevin here is the owner of Epic Garden and this one here, Botanical Interests Seeds Company. I want to be very clear. Once you have the traffic, once you have eyeballs on your product, a website or a YouTube or whatever it may be, you can start offering your own things because display ads, listen, Google display ads are the laziest way to monetize a website. A product, a service, they take more to, um, what's the word, fulfill, but you can make a lot more money. Now, I want to go through a blog post. This is a listicle. If we come up here, this is SEO meta in one click. This is just a Chrome plugin and they have, you know, 18 things to do. It's a listicle. And if I go back to their homepage, we just want to get a feel for what they're doing here, right? 15 benefits, 40 different reasons, 27, 37. Do you see a common thread here, listicles crush it. And then as we progress in 2024 and you learn new things, the listicles then can extend out to social media so well. Listicles really do well. So let's click here, the 15 benefits of a raised garden. I wanna right click here, I wanna search image with Google. I wanna do find image uh, source. And I just wanna see, are these stock images? It looks like that's a stock image, all right? So it's not like they're using 100% unique images, which is interesting, but Remember, that's that's their YouTube channel with 2.5 million. Uh, let's look at this one too. I'm just curious. Are they using stock images? Are they using their own? I bet you it's a mix. Um, do we see anything? Uh, can't tell. Oh, yeah, iStock. So that's probably another stock one. But they're listicles with a beautiful image. They cap it. They caption under the images. Do you see that? If I pause here, under here, they caption that. Or uh, is that the word caption? I think it is. Uh, nonetheless, if we go back to the home page, let's just jump back. I want to show you the footer, right? Let's scroll down to the footer. Whoa, 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 let's stop here for a second. They offer products. People have been saying on Twitter, maybe I should offer products on my website because you know those websites didn't seem to get hit as hard by the helpful content update. Maybe there's something to that. How hard would it be to accomplish for you? Well, I don't know. It depends on what your website's set up on. But let's scroll down to the footer and see what we have going on. So we have company. Let's control click on about us, about Epic Gardening. Nice, join our newsletter, meet our team, real people. If I click here, okay, it pops out. It shows all the EEAT of Kevin, very cool. And then all these other people, very, very nice. Real people, real images. This is a real business. Now I wanna show you something you probably missed as we were going through that, but before we do, the footer is of utmost importance. All these here, all these here, all the socials, that's easy. Let's click on shop for a second. I'm going on a little tangent. Oh, very interesting. So they have a shop section for the whole website. That's on a different level. We're not going to talk about that today. But nonetheless, company about careers, press, etc. If we go to each and every one of these, we're going to see, like, look, here's the contact. Do they have a phone number? No, they don't have a phone number, but they have socials. They have address. They have a privacy policy. They have a disclaimer. I mean, they're not huge. They're not huge. And the press, right, if a press wants to talk about your company, all they have is a logo or, um, you know, just a, a wide scale type of situation over this and da da da. I mean, that's not huge, but Google sees you have a press page and you have careers. You can emulate this 
really, really easily. Now you probably missed this. Let's just go back to the homepage. Look, so they have the homepage. You can shop, you can shop. Cool, it's a real company. You can shop. Remember that. Then they have three, one, two, three articles at the top, near the, uh, above the fold, right? Why? Well, I don't know. Maybe they know the click-through rate on this is excellent this time of year. Something like that, I bet you, is happening. Then they have the editor's picks, same idea, and the best-selling products. And then if we keep going, right, if we keep going, we are going to have kind of a blog roll, latest posts. Now, a lot of websites that got hit by the helpful content update just have a blog roll like this on the homepage. And I, I just think that's a symptom. It's a symptom. It's just a symptom of what you're doing. You're just, you, maybe you're just targeting keywords and you have no, you don't care to be a real business. You just want to target keywords and that's it. I think that's going to change in 2024. A lot of people are going to focus on this, but I want to go into this. I want to be very clear. This is very, very interesting. Let's just scroll down and just look at the ads. Okay, we have one ad there. So it took us above the fold, let's keep going. A little sidebar ad there, you know, one in body, one down here. It's nothing crazy, right? I can still read the article, I'm not being terribly distracted, right? Go on your website, is your website all over the place and distracting me from actually reading the content? Because if it is, that is a huge on-page problem. Now we're going to do something special. This is Ahrefs. And I want to know, you know, you saw the graph, right? It was like up and to the right. That's a good thing. See over here? Like they doubled the traffic since the helpful content update. But what pages are constituted for this new traffic? And if I look right here, you're going to laugh. I mean, my goodness gracious, 301 different types of flowers with names and pictures. I've had people in the comments say, I don't want a list of cool of 50 things to do in Japan or something like that. They have 301 different types of flowers. This gets more. This article gets more than most people's websites per month. This article, this one article. And let's just scroll, right? Let's just look. I mean, my goodness. I, I mean, I'm not even going to scroll. It's so big. Let's keep going over here. Let's go to uh, SEO Meta in one click. That's lagging because the thing is so big. They talk about every stinking plant under the sun. It's a humongous thing. Let's keep going. Purple flowers, blue flowers, white flowers. Keep in mind, these are the articles that help them boost hard. And they're humongous listicles. And when you have these huge listicles and you want to start doing social media pushes, people love to share these things. And then the flywheel effect happens. Do you know what a flywheel is? You start to push it and it starts to use that momentum. You keep going and going and going and going. That's what we want with the website. Now, Kevin, the owner of Epic Garden, released this post yesterday. In just a few weeks, we doubled our blog traffic. And more importantly, we earned double the revenue, right? Of course. And we did it while Google's helpful content was running in the background, right? Add in an additional element of risk. Cool. Earlier this year, I purchased a blog called All About Gardening that my friend created. I also hired him as our head editor. He would built a gardening blog to an impressive scale in a short period of time. And most importantly to me, he did it the right way. So he brought on talent. He expanded his knowledge base, right? Up until a few weeks ago, we ran both blogs separately, publishing to both properties as we game planned what I'll call the merge. The logic of buying Jace's blog was simple. We expanded our traffic footprint, we gained a killer SEO leader, and we doubled our ad revenue. In other words, we are not only getting more traffic via the purchase, but unlocked higher earnings on that traffic as a result of escalating up our ad network's earnings tier instantly. So if you get more traffic, you're in a higher RPM scale, you get more money, right? But believe it or not, as CEO, I barely cared about that direct ad revenue boost at all because Epic Garden is primarily a product company, right? It's a product, that's what I was saying. Display ads is the laziest. It's like, that's where you make least amount of money. So he's a product company. So really we gained new traffic source. We could expose our awesome raised beds. So I think that might be, pri pri uh, what's, the, what's the word? Pri uh, proprietary, there you go. The raised beds, they have seeds and gardening gear and we could drop them into our entire video podcast ecosystem. That's how you gotta think about your stuff. If you really have a good blog, you have an ecosystem, right? Make it all synergistic. However, none of this could happen without the merge taking place. This was the meticulous process of migrating content, so they migrated, wow. So they pushed both websites together. I didn't know that, that's pretty crazy. Determining which articles to keep and which to delete, so they, they, they chopped some, redirected all old URLs, so maybe 301s. Preserving as much as the SEO value, so that could be done via 301s and other things. Putting out the inevitable fires. I can't imagine that. That would have been a lot of work. Side note, um, that gentleman, our head of editorial, deserves all the credit. It took him. A, it took a few weeks and hasn't without issues. Yeah, okay. Um, geez, Louise, look at those numbers. And remember, these are just the direct benefits of this move. The second and third order effects will be increasing email, SMS. I mean, 
I bet you the newsletter they have alone produces an insane amount of income. And with that, I want to encourage you, if you are going to blog, it takes time. It takes a lot of time. It's way more affordable now to blog more than ever because we have ChatGPT. We have all these content tools. Very, very easy to create content and edit content and make it good. But it takes a lot of time for you. So if you're going to go down this road, I encourage you to have a long play. The long play is to create an ecosystem around your brand.